Welcome back, and today I have an interesting video I wanted to share, which is kind of not really, I don't think, revealing too much about Gianni Versace's home, but it's very interesting. There's something there, and I'm not going to dive too deep into a lot of stuff, but I wanted to show you, and you show one method that I uh, utilized in regards to Versace's house. And just take a look at the doors. That is the really impressive part. That old, incredibly old entrance looks like it's from the Spanish in the 1500s or earlier. Who knows? It looks like you'd see it all anywhere in Europe and definitely not Miami. And uh, so that makes me wonder how the origin of this mansion really is. Because I know Versace purchased it in the 70s from someone else. And it's got Turkish and Ottoman influence and all different kinds of stuff. It's a massive place in this amazing part of Miami. And the reason why I'm bringing it up today is because I have a friend that I met through art that came that that kind of we started talking about a bunch of different things and um this is a little more of the history of it and again versace's very decorative in the old romanesque style so it's tough to tell what's his and what's you know maybe original or uh, predates his purchase of the home but look at this pool area wow really immaculate it looks like you're in an old like fountain in rome in some lost city that been that had been blown up or something had been happened but this is it in its prime and during that kind of of, uh, era where you'd see a lot of Renaissance massiveness. So, one I have a friend who was gained access to the Versace mansion shortly after he passed away and was murdered, and so he had some random pictures from that time. And just take a look at some of this stuff. Really gaudy, really impressive things, and a lot of it is Versace style and probably his own creations. But some of it's pretty. Um, pretty ancient and pretty impressive and just the fact that these photos you can see at the bottom were not digital cameras they were old school photos and look at all the stuff they have in there the artworks that they have so many things this is just a I, this is the main point of this is to show you all a glimpse into the private collections and what people have just showing that you know these kind of pictures exist and look at the urns there they remind me of the San Francisco uh, World's Fair the things that are still there those concrete urns you see and all that massive sculpture the medusa all this different symbolism that they use throughout this palace look at that pool really phenomenal the parties there must have been incredible to see this being built would have been awesome and again really rich must have done it or it's old i'm not really sure i don't claim to know i just kind of wanted to share it but the, p the point was that, you know, these photos that I ended up gathering that kind of inspired me to take a look in Gianni Versace's place was from a friend. So there are a lot of different things, I imagine, different stories that we can tell from people who have been places, have been to private rich people's collections and seen what they have, seen what can't be photographed, seen things maybe in the past that they, you know, before we had cell phones and people weren't able to constantly easily take pictures. This guy had to have those films developed. And look at this. This is his daughter's room. Each room, though, wow. Immaculate. These are all Googles. These are no longer pictures from my friend, but these are just incredible display of what this place looked like. And this is the rich. This is getting into the private homes of the super rich who can do whatever they want. They can build whatever they want. They can hire artists to pay any amount of money and create mosaics that are immaculately detailed like this. They can probably pluck from old World's Fair collections, different Smithsonian's. I wonder if they have the ability to purchase from the Smithsonian if the catalog via the Smithsonian goes to the private collectors all over the world and they sell things at astronomical prices that they've pillaged from archaeological discoveries and more. Again, look at these columns, slightly Ottoman, slightly Roman, slightly everything. This The semi-swastika spiral pattern that you see all over ancient buildings, all over the Boston Public Library. Everything, gold, marble, metals, the paintings on the walls. Everything is just so nice, so decorated. In Versace, you know, the style of the 80s and the 70s that he had was definitely way better and gaudy and, you know, more ancient-esque than a lot of the modern um, fashion designers and whatnot. So I give him credit for the good style, but look at the, just, just so much amazing artwork, so much incredibleness, all within his little villa in the heart of Miami. 
absolutely fantastic and I would have never thought about this had someone not brought up um, had my friend not brought up kind of that he was here and that it was amazing and he told me about it and he told me all the amazing things that he had seen and he'd said that there were a couple other things if this video goes well he'll let me in on another secret that was uh, that he witnessed but look at just the different ancient techniques uh, so many different things so many different paintings every room is an artwork uh, it's it's a masterpiece everything ties together so so well how old is the furniture what's in those drawers where are the secret rooms because you know there are some what's buried in those how many different um, you know there's a, there's a cupola at the top there's an observatory there's you know who did the art for these rooms who has that art where did the art go I know it's a hotel now but I'm sure some of it got stolen to other private collections some maybe got taken to museums some you know, it's really interesting. And, and was Versace hip to the, this type of symbolism, this type of gaudy um, Renaissance Roman architectural designs? Like, look at that bed. Wow, phenomenal. Every single thing is just such high class, such style. Every single thing is more expensive than pretty much everything I own in my entire collection of, of 40 years. And it's just take a small chunk, a small square foot of this, and it's worth more than anything <laughs> I own. But it's just really incredible, and it just makes me really wonder what is in the private stashes and what is in those urns. Could there be something in there? Could those be old, ancient urns? And you know, they're using it. They maybe something he knew about. Maybe where did they get them? Can't help but say they remind me of the World's Fair in San Francisco. And this, the sky, the glass, these artworks again, stained glass, absolutely magnificent. The metalwork all over everything. The floor work, the patterns, the trim, the paint jobs, the the, the frills on <laughs> the carpets, the dangly uh, curtains, the everything is just so well nice, so put together, so expensive, so immaculate. You know, it looks it would be tough to live here. I would feel almost because I'd be like, what do you touch? It's like a it's like a museum. And again, this is one that we've been allowed into. Take a look at any of those rich areas, any of these rich places, Miami, Naples, all of them, and you see mansion upon mansion where you have no access to, no one has access to. And then in between them, they have storage, they have different places, they have different houses in other parts of the country where they probably stash stuff. Safety deposit boxes all over the world in places, islands, different things that could be there that they've collected over the years, certain jokes on us collections that they have have where they know the truth about something or they maybe know the symbolism and the meaning of something but they don't share it with anyone except their elite friends maybe when a party comes at a certain time but either way I thought this was just an interesting concept to share and also very visually beautiful got to respect the Italian style all these things look at these paintings different symbols and what it, they had like the bust over the door who is that? Who did these people worship? Who did, like you, you wouldn't spend millions of dollars if you didn't know the meaning and if it didn't add to your overall vision and feel and vibe. Each one of these has an energy to it. This is the observatory that's really cool. And you know, how old is that? Was there a massive telescope there? What does that look like at night? What did they do there? Everything really really cool and I'd love to know who the artists were that did some of these uh, these artworks <clears throat> this metal work the paint work everything just that cologne collection alone is worth more than my entire existence <sighs> ridiculous what a divide between people and I'm assuming that is a Picasso I don't know if I've never even seen it before but uh, you can just tell by that and they probably had different artists doing works for them different things the secrets that they tell that we are not in the club is <clears throat> is not for us to be invited into it is for us to occasionally steal a glimpse at but they don't want us to look but I think we should all uh, share you know keep and uh, this is just to encourage everybody keep an eye out you never know who you will meet that might have a little bit of insight that might be able to share stuff a lot of people um, when I told this guy about you know that there's been a 
a truth or kind of movement trying to rediscover a lot of these ancient um, creations and you know that people's private collections are a treasure trove and he was totally fascinated by that he'd never heard of it he'd never thought of it he was just there in the 80s it was a gig he was, he was probably looking for a way to make some money and um, just at the right place at the right time and so you never really know but here you go. I just wanted to share you out with this. Hope you all loved it. The art, everything's a little interesting. I'm going to start get back and into the groove and making more videos again. So we will try to discover the glory in every way we can and get closer to the truth all the time because we need to discover what is lost, what is stolen from us, what is hidden from us. That's where the miracles lie. So happy hunting, everybody. Bless you all.